of four of the banks. Bank of America reductions will be ever sleeper. Will, will, will be even steeper, okay? <laughs> okay, the Bank of America reductions will be even steeper, averaging $100,000 or more, according to spokesman Rick Simon. Another $3 billion or more will go towards financing mortgages for borrowers who are current on their payments. This will enable them to take advantage of the historically low interest rates that are currently available. The banks will pay $5 billion to the states and the federal government, the only hard money involved in the deal. Out of that fund will come, that's the only time you won't get cash, okay? Out of that fund will come payments of $1,500 to $2,000 to homeowners who lost their homes to foreclosure. <laughs> you know, I mean, you lost your home probably worth a couple hundred thousand dollars, $2,000, what's that going to do? You are giving me $2,000 and now you don't have a home of your own. You used to be a homeowner. You used to take pride in where you live. You came home to it. You probably spent money fixing it up. Paid your mortgage every month. And now they're going to give you a means deal of $2,000. What if you don't have a home now? What if your credit is shot? Okay, how are you going to get another home to take advantage of these historically low interest rates? Okay. Uh, now, other funds will be paid to legal and homeowner advocacy organizations. Uh, to help individuals facing foreclosure or experiencing service abuses. Okay, another one billion dollars will be paid directly to Bank of America to the Federal Housing Administration, FHA, uh, to settle char charges that its subsidiary countrywide financial defrauded the housing agency. The exact amount of the payments will depend on how many people participate in this part of the settlement. They will share equally in a pool of 1.5 billion dollars. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development expects about 750,000 former homeowners to take part. In addition, the banks agreed to eliminate robo-signing although, I mean altogether, and to use proper and legal procedures when putting homeowners through the foreclosure process. They also agreed to end servicer abuses like harassing delinquent borrowers for payments and to include principal reductions more often in their mortgage modification programs. The court approves $26 billion in a foreclosure settlement. Now, is, you know, I mean, what is this doing for the homeowner? I mean, you know, now that there's a settlement, is this going to really solve the problem of fraudulent homeowners? Is this going to stop people from defrauding homeowners? No, it's not. It just means that now the people who were actually doing it have been, been caught in their act. And now they got to pay for it. But how much money did they make from their fraudulent schemes and their fraudulent acts? As a result, now they're paying a drop in the bucket. That's like you're making a hundred thousand dollars, and now they're ordering you to pay a thousand dollars for what you did. But you still got ninety ninety nine thousand dollars to play with. I mean, you're not hurting nobody. You know what I mean? And now the homeowner's lost your home, faced foreclosure, been harassed by banks and lenders, been forged documents that even said that you was in foreclosure in the first place. <coughs> okay, and then you had. Uh, illegitimate scammers coming to your door trying to scam you out of your home in addition to being scammed by the robo scammers you know what I mean I mean the homeowner I mean home buying is being made into a nightmare now I mean do I want to own a home today with all of this mess going on you know I work hard I save up my money all my life and then finally I'm able to own a home only to have the mortgage company or a mortgage company or a somebody sign, forge a document and take it to court and legally evict me out of my house from based on a forged document. <coughs> I mean, come on now, it's just, it's really getting ridiculous, you know what I mean? And now they're talking about giving you $1,500 to $2,000 for your troubles. You know, what about the home that I lost? I mean, what about your credit is shot now? Because you know that stays on your credit for like seven years, you know what I mean? And are you going to be in a position to buy another home? I mean, first of all, you're probably all destroyed and your mind ain't even right going to work. Do you even still have a job? You know what I mean? Have you let your children down? <clears throat> you know, are you even still alive? You know what I mean? Some people may have ended it. They bowed out with grace. You know what I mean? They're not even right no more. They just mind is all wrong. You know what I mean? Because this is a traumatic experience. I mean, it's, a, it's one of the biggest investments that a home buyer will make in their life. And to have people actually defraud the system and legally do it, I mean, banks who are legally in business to bank my money, you holding on to my money. 
and you gonna scheme me out of the rest of my money? What you, what, what's to say about the money I got in your account? You know, is that money even safe anymore? I'm only making 2% interest off of that anyway. You know, when the back in the day, you used to get 15, 20% interest off of, off of some money. 5% even. You're going to give me a lousy 1 or 2% and I'm not even making that. And now you're going to scheme me out of the rest of my money. How do I know that my money's even safe with you anymore? You're hiring fortunate lawyers to do, you know, do your dirty work for you. You got people at a legitimate companies up here, you know, doc you know, it's, it's just becoming a nightmare owning a home. It's just not what it used to be anymore. And President Obama is fighting hard to try to help homeowners and to implement laws that are going to stay. Yes, they're going to sue you for the money, but how much money have you made? You probably made a, a couple of trillion dollars, and now you're paying $26 billion, you know, and the homeowner's only really getting like $2,000 in their pocket. Come on, give me a break. Okay? Well, I want to thank you for joining me today for Real Estate, Religion, and You. And we'll probably be continuing this again in the next uh, session or so. But we're talking about my book, Helpful Homeowners Facing the Loss of Your Home. And I'm sure that I will be uh, revising this book and adding, or perhaps we'll be even doing another book, but I'll be definitely adding to this and putting some of the information that I have been finding on the Internet about uh, fraudulent schemers. You know, I mean, for, for the, <clears throat> I had talked to the NAACP a couple of months ago. And they, saw, they said they had sued mortgage companies because they was actually they filed a class action suit again and won against mortgage companies because they were charging higher interest rates to black people than they were to white people. You know, and that's the true roof. Well, my name is Sylvia Black, and I want you to join me next week again for Real Estate Religion and You. <clears throat> and again, holler at a sister at sblack2001 at gmail.com. You can visit for more information on how to get a copy of this book. You can go to lulu.com or affordablehomesandapartments.net. For any information on my religious books and websites, you can go to highwaytoheavenchurch.org. Okay, you can visit my YouTube address at sblack3001 for all these videos, for the video in, in its entirety. And I want to thank you again for joining me today for Real Estate, Religion, and You. And I want you to holler at us. It's the See ya. How <clears throat> let a sister.